Hey there friends, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I hope you are all doing really, really well. I wanted to do an updated video on my top picks for a Walt Disney World park bag. I did this video in December, right before we went to Disney for Christmas, but now we are getting into spring. I'm so glad, I am so ready for the warm weather. If you have spent any time with me on this channel, or if you are new, I am a big fan of Stony Clover's fanny packs for a park bag. I have four Stony Clover fanny packs that are my top picks for spring trips to Disney World. I have three that are the classic size and one that's the jumbo fanny size. The first bag that I would recommend is this classic size. This one is their core color. I think it's called Blanc, it's their white color and I had it embroidered with the pearl Mickey patch on it. So it's not actually like one of part of their Disney and Friends collection, but I thought this was so cute and classic and it's just perfect really for any time of year, but it's nice in the spring because it's white, it goes with everything. And I've paired it with this cute little bag charm that I got in the parks actually. It adds that little bit more kind of Disney vibe. My next top pick, is this one. One of my favorite colors from Stony Clover. This is their avocado color. And I actually use this bag a lot in the summer, especially if you have a little bit of a tan and it pops on so many different outfits. And I did pair it just to kind of Disney-fy it a little bit. I put this bobble bar bag charm on it. I love it on this bag or you can switch it out. You can even put it on the white one that I just showed you. You can go like all out pearl, <laughs> maybe a little much, I don't know, putting it on here with the pearl on pearl. Do you, whatever, whatever is your vibe. And something else that, you know, while we're talking about bag charms, what might be also really cute on this, and I'll take this off to show you. I just got this bag charm from the recent Stony Clover Never Stop Dreaming launch. This would be so cute as another kind of way to Disney-fy this bag. You could bring these with you, both of these bag charms, and just kind of switch them out depending on your outfit, depending on the park that you're going to. This could be perfect for Magic Kingdom. My third top pick for a Disney park bag in the spring is this bag, which if you've seen any of my recent videos, you will have seen this, but this is the new Never Stop Dreaming sort of relaunch fanny pack. You could put either the uh, Little Mermaid bag charm that I just showed you, or this one, which is the Cinderella bag charm that's also from this same launch. You could stick this on here and make this, you know, extra princessy. So let me try this on here. So I did wanna say, if you saw my last, hold on. If you saw my unboxing video for this, you will have seen that the bag charms don't actually, from Stony Clover, they don't fit. They don't fit in the space where the zipper pull is. I still have the plastic on here, <laughs> which you'll see, which is very bizarre, but you know, whatever that reason is. So I actually bought, you'll see it here, this tiny little ring from Michael's and I have them here. This is what I bought, these bead, what does it say? bead landing split rings. It came with 50 of them. They were like $3. Put that on here. I attached the bag charm to that. This is my advice to you, my little PSA. But anyway, so this is a perfect bag for the spring. Love the pink color. This would be so great for a Magic Kingdom day. So these are three that I would definitely, def definitely recommend. And I would use the classic for most days at the parks, but for the days that I do know that I'm gonna need more stuff, maybe we're gonna stay in the parks longer, I would bring this fanny pack. So this is the jumbo size. It's in this like really soft chambray material. This is such a great neutral. So this is a perfect bag that you could put the, let's just try this out, the bobble bar charm on, for example, because then it's just, you know, a little bit more Disney-fied. You could use this in any of the parks. It goes with literally any outfit that you have on. And for me personally, I would bring a few options. So these three classics, 
And then I would throw in the jumbo as well. So now let's talk about what I actually take with me into the parks. So let's use, let's use this one as an example. So this would be for a day where maybe we're going to Animal Kingdom in the morning and then we're gonna go back to our room hang out by the pool, rest for a bit, all of those things, and then go back out to the parks later. So I probably would switch out my bag actually at that point. I will say that the classic size fannies are actually really big. Like they look kind of small, but they're really quite roomy. What I really do love about the design of the, at least the stony clover fannies versus the Lululemon, I think it's called the everywhere belt bag. When you have this on, and you like lean over or something and the bag is open, because of the design of it, the stuff doesn't fall out. With the everywhere belt bag from Lululemon, I found things would fall like right out of it. But this is sort of, it's kind of like tucked in, if that makes any sense. So I don't wanna <laughs> just completely lean over and have everything fall out. But if you kind of have it open and lean a little bit, your stuff won't fall out. So another reason why I really love the Stony Clover bags. So let's just start kind of throwing some things in and you can get a feel for how much room these actually have. My cell phone, this is Pro Max. I think this one's the 14, so it's kind of big. I usually do always take my wallet with me. This is just a card case. I do use the Magic Bands, but I feel like it's just one of those things where you feel like you always need to carry your credit cards and your health insurance cards just in case. So it doesn't take up a lot of room, so I don't really mind carrying that with me. Hand sanitizer, when you get off of a ride, just, you know, quickly spritz, spritz. So this one's the Touchland version. You could, you know, use whatever kind of hand sanitizer you prefer, but I do like that brand. Lip gloss, this is the K-Skin Isle Lip Balm. It has an SPF 30. So this is something that is great for those warmer months starting in sort of the spring and then obviously into the summer. You want to have SPF for your lips because the sun is brutal down in Florida. It does have that like glossy look to it, but it also has SPF 30. So highly recommend this, just throwing that into my little bag here. I always take with me a liquid IV. Usually I take it first thing in the morning before we head out to the parks or I have it in my bag and I put and I drink it, you know, in a bottle of water or whatever when we get to the parks. So really, really recommend drinking liquid IVs or I know they have Element and different brands have the similar thing, but it's really just a hydration multiplier. Really important for warmer months, spring into summer and into the fall really too, just because you can get dehydrated so easily there. So really recommend these. They're pretty compact. You could just throw that into your bag. I just given that I would use my camera for vlogging, I would bring an extra battery with me. So really small, doesn't take up a ton of space. So that can really just kind of fit on the side there. So you'll see, it looks like it's pretty full and it is to some degree, but like I can't, I don't know if you could tell here, there's a ton of space right on the top there that you could fit more things in here. So what I would also bring, if you've seen any of my videos, I bring with me straws from Starbucks at home. I hate the paper straws. I hate corn straws or whatever they are. I only do this for Disney World. I usually will bring like two of them for that morning time at the park and just throw them in my bag. And then when we go and get Joffrey's or whatever it is, will have straws. Just a kind of little tip there to keep it in mind because there are no plastic straws anywhere to be found in Disney. I really recommend bringing some sunglasses, maybe some sunglasses that are not super expensive. If they get lost, if they get damaged, you're not gonna be super upset about it. Just, just in case, these are, I love them. They're my Ray-Ban Aviator sunglasses. They go with everything. Probably should put them in a little bag, but I'm gonna be honest, I usually just kind of like throw them in the front right there and hope for the best. So the last essential item, especially for spring and summer, kind of those warmer months, is a little portable fan. And I got this one on Amazon, three different speeds. So you can see and probably hear that. But this to me is so essential for warmer months and it's super compact. It just fits into any little space. I have it in here. Everything fits 
super, super well. This is exactly what I will bring with me into the parks. Everything is pretty compact, but you know, secure, no worries there in terms of the things that you can bring in. And it really does hold a lot. So these are my essential items when I go to Disney World. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And I'd love it if you would subscribe to my channel. It really does help me out. Take care of yourself. I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Bye guys.